Hello and welcome to my video at Vintage Steel Garage. What I'm trying to do here is, I suppose, motivate myself to get back into a project I haven't touched for a few years, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Just a short video really to get myself galvanised again, spurred on by my good friend Chris at All The Gear No Idea. Um, partly because he passed his um, lathe on to me, uh, sorry, his milling machine on to me. So he's now bought a, a bigger machine and let me have this on sort of long term loan, shall we call it. So we've installed this in the garage a few weeks ago, um, got it set up, done a bit of a test milling on it. I'm sure if Chris watches this video he'll give me a telling off for leaving it messy, but I will clean it up later. Um, so I've tied it up in here a little bit, although I've been looking at it now it doesn't look like it. Made some shelving there tidied up on the floor, painted the walls, put some power sockets in, I was forever running off extension leads, so I'm quite pleased I've got that, I've only been here 15 years, so that's quite funny really. Um, set this up, set a parts washer up, which another friend of mine bought for me, so that's very kind of him, but I'd never took it out of the box, so I set that up, got my ladders up there, out of the way, made it a lot tidier, I've still got some miscellaneous projects around, like this little funny bike which I might put an engine on I might not but it's just in the way I'm not really sure so uh, I got my brew there ready so the subject really of this video was was through here really was to try and get back not onto this project which is obviously not a project at all and doesn't need anything doing to it nice Porsche Boxster it's really getting onto this here which is a 1970 Dodge Dart. I bought this in 2014, I think it was. Imported it from Texas, Galveston, from a car dealer out there. He was a guy that dealt in imports. Now, obviously, if you're in America, that means German cars. Sounds funny to us, but it's German cars, Audis, Porsches. He didn't deal in his sort of Native American cars, and this is coming as a Partex and he just put it on eBay for sale. Um, no rust, three owners from new, looks like the last owner decided to make it into more of a a muscle car if you like. He put a four nine and a half inch axle in the back, shortened, uh, 727 transmission and a crate 360 engine with uh, a double barrel carb on it. Can't remember the exact spec now because like I say it's four years ago since I got it, got it full of enthusiasm, put it in the garage, jacked it up, then managed to store everything along the side of it, on top of it, inside it, and underneath it. So really today is more a bit of a bit of, and there's my list of jobs I wrote to do on it which I only made a start of every year I say I'm gonna get it finished and go to Le Mans classic in it but never quite happens so I'm thinking 2019 might be the year I get to go in it but then I get sidetracked with like little projects like this so this is a board, a board track racer replica I'm halfway through making and then guess what so I lost interest but I will finish it one day, like most things, I'll get around to it, quite pressed with it, made the seat myself, made the frame myself, working on the gears, don't really like the exhaust, need to change that, need to fabricate a tank, but really the subject of this video, and well, there's half of Chris's stuff from going camping when we went watching some drag racing, need to give him that back as well, I'll create some more space in my garage. There on the top of the car is a, a lathe he lent me. In fact, it seems to be I have more stuff in my garage than of Chris's than he has in his own garage. He may have an alternative motive here to try and fill my garage full of rubbish. Anyway, so the idea is to uncover this Dodge Dart, get it back up and running, run through the list. Um, it really, the work it needs is a, is a light recommission. Like I say, it looks like the previous owner a lot of money on it, upgrading the axle, recon gearbox, crate 360 engine, 
uprated discs on the front, uprated suspension, uh, for some reason seemed to lose interest in it. It's got new in, it had new gauges in, uh, round gauges, not the sort of stripped gauge that you would see in one of these. Um, I think I can just about see inside it. No, we can't. Let's have a look. You can see the, the, the gauges there are the strip speedometer gauges. Uh, it did have round gauges in, but I didn't like those. I wanted to keep it original. But the gauges only had zero miles on it. So I don't think it actually ran uh, with all this modification work on it. Someone's obviously lost interest in the project and just decided to shelve it. So, And then it sat in the UK for a further four years not doing anything you can see the plate on it is a texas plate with a date of what is it march 13 so it's not been on the road since then so all the chrome's good paint's not bad there's the odd scratch it's probably got from just being parked up but i think it'll buff up all right um did use of a black vinyl roof but it's not got that anymore just painted now which will do for me I think the only problem the only bit of trim I haven't got is this around around the back window so I think the first part for today really is uncover it find the car I buried so I'll need to move Porsche out of the way create a bit of space see what stuff I want to keep see what stuff I want to throw away uh, and then I'll come back to you in a bit when I've had a tidy up and uh, unearth the car, show you a bit more. Thank you. Okay, four hours later, managed to clear the garage up. Actually, you can find the car now. So it's looking better that it's not buried. As you can see, pretty good condition. Clear on the top, clear underneath. First job I've got to do get the prop back on which is here the yoke these I took the prop off was the yoke was fully stuck in the gearbox and wouldn't slide it's like it was misaligned on the splines so need to get underneath get that back in and uh, you can also now clearly see the engine which is a 360 crate engine pretty low mileage Elderbrock carb on it aluminium radiator obviously it'd be cool if that really was NOS but it's not so wiring needs a bit of a tidy up as you can see that too it's a bit dark under here so first thing I want to do is try and get back to getting the prop on rebuild the prop put the UJs on and see if we can get the prop in underneath I'll get a light and we'll have a look underneath Okay, got some light underneath here, as you can see, floor pans are pretty good, only a bit of surface rust showing on them. So I really want to get some paint on that, really, before it's on the road in the UK. You can see the gearbox yoke. I was having problems with this sliding in and out, it wasn't sliding where it is now. Well, should be. Let's just try again. There, so it wasn't sliding before. Whereas now you can see it will slide in and out. It wasn't moving at all before. So I need to get the um, strap back on there, transmission strap, get the floor painted, and yep get that painted get the prop back on get the exhaust back on change the oil on the gearbox I think the oil filters off as well change the oil filter and should be ready to go so let's have a look at rebuilding the prop Okay, so the last bit for today I'm going to look at is this 
gearbox mount <clears throat> you can see it's deteriorated there split and has quite a bit of movement I've tried to seal it up but it's not really going to work I think it'll just tear when you get any sort of power on it so bought this replacement polybush unit which is uh, this one here in fact you can see I bought it when I went to America picked it up off a friend of mine in San Francisco what's the date on that date is July 16 so I picked it up in November 16 I think or October 16 anyway so it says it's the right mount and the problem is when you look at it you can clearly see it's not the right size it's about 10 mil taller now the easy thing to do would be to buy a new one and try again however I'm in the UK these parts are 4,000 miles away there's no guarantee the next one's going to be the right one so having had a look at it what I've decided to do is alter the cross member so this is the cradle where the mount so just get them well, the mount the mount sits in here like this sits in there and then this mounts up to the gearbox and this is the nose of the the gearbox here so the easiest thing to do was to this is nine mil longer drop this down by near nine mil here so I've done a trial fit with it tacked in place seems to work okay so what I'm going to do now clean this up and put a, a, a strip on strengthen it plate it in at the end there give it a general clean um, I even try my parts washer out, give it a clean, paint it up, put it on, and that's that job done. And then I can move on to the prop shaft, which is there, which probably needs two new vernal universal joints in the end. Okay, that'll do for today. Talk to you again sometime.